what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about scream 7 we'll be talking about anaconda beetlejuice 2 spiral if we ever get another spiral and we'll be talking about fear street 4 so jasmine brown just started off with scream 7 recently commented on her return to scream as mindy with this statement i haven't gotten a call so i think if you want to ask spyglass what they're doing you can that was her comment to entertainment tonight when they asked her about returning to the future of the of the franchise and with a statement like i haven't gotten a call that basically is confirming she has no deal in place to return as mindy as of now we know james vanderbilt and reportedly guy Busick are still pinning the screenplay she wasn't the only star who gave a comment though because melissa barrera reflected on her time with scream recently when deadline caught up with her at sundance now i'm not gonna say this is her addressing how spyglass fired her because it really isn't in my eyes but she said i'm just so grateful for what i got to infuse in the franchise and that's something i'll be proud of forever she also referenced how the firing was like an awakening moment and but like do you still see how the cast never are too direct with it or they spin it into something overly positive spyglass definitely had some terms and conditions behind their exits is all i'm getting at as you often should expect when it comes to these studios and the reputation they want to uphold in in the public and how they will go out of their way to also make sure that the talent they work with will do the same thing radio silence and project F x also partnered with mrc recently that was some bombshell news this past week so that sparked hope of them buying the scream rights from spyglass i don't think that will happen but stranger things have occurred i'm just excited that radio silence is able to move away from scream if that's what's in their hearts and get back to producing original pieces i think the report also detailed them dropping maybe two or three movies a year with this partnership like original horror films so i cannot wait to see what comes of this partnership for them but that's all i have for scream 7 in this video we're going to be touching on anaconda now so the new anaconda is seemingly taking a new nightmare approach according to jeff snyder uh who revealed this on the hot mic podcast recently he stated that the new anaconda will feature known actors playing heightened versions of themselves starring in a new anaconda movie when things take a turn for the real however snyder stressed that the actors in question are not yet signed up for the project so things could very well change i just read this from a yahoo article but that's interesting to take a new nightmare approach but it's not all that shocking considering the director behind the unbearable weight of massive talent is the one that's supposed to be bringing this film to life i think snyder also mentioned this individual being the one responsible for the screenplay so i can't wait to see what comes of that anything will be better than the slew of sci-fi films that were coming out being added to this franchise during the late 2000s and the mid to early 2010s i think at one point we got anaconda versus super gator like the ip was just down bad so a new nightmare approach while not what i'd prefer is also much better than what it's been doing and it's of course not to say that anaconda has ever been this high notoriety or high praised horror franchise it hasn't been the first film is decent at best the sequel is fun and then you had those sci-fi films so this could end up being the best entry to be quite honest i'm a i'm a fan of the j-lo ice cube entry the first film obviously but i have hopes that this one will be the best of the series we're gonna talk about beetlejuice 2 monica bellucci we know will be starring as beetlejuice's wife during the upcoming sequel that is set to release in september but what does her character look like well allegedly because it's not yet confirmed she looks like a frankenstein type of monster that has staples all over her because she stapled all her parts back together so just imagine someone covered in staples and looking like a frankenstein monster and that's apparently how dolores will look dolores again is the name of beetlejuice's wife also delia deets is rumored to now be running an art gallery which is not surprising at all but this gallery is also rumored to contain a giant picture of her hanging on the wall and she has all these different performances that take place inside of it so delia has allegedly made it to the top in comparison to where we see her during the original beetlejuice i just primarily want to share with you guys how beetlejuice's wife is rumored to be looking she has a lot of staples because she stapled herself back together apparently and is reminiscent of a frankenstein type of monster so we're going to talk about spiral 2 a saw producer back in december offered this small update on spiral 2 when speaking with sfx magazine he said maybe one day we'll come back to doing a sequel to spiral 
Chris Rock would love to do one, but our focus because of the success and the response to Saw X is Saw 11, as it should be. Now look, I wouldn't be against catching up with Zeke and Will, but right now I'm just glad that Saw X revived the series better than Spiral or Jigsaw tried to do. I'm locked in on what's happening with Cecilia, what's going on with uh, John and Amanda. Who And I would say Cecilia, of course, when you think about Zeke and Will from Spiral, Cecilia is far more compelling than those two from Spiral. So if we ever revisit Spiral, I'm good. But if we never revisit it, I'm also content because Saw X was so impressive. I don't think it's really necessary to ever revisit or touch on Spiral again. I get like myself, there are fans of that entry. It wouldn't be a problem to see the story continue. But if it doesn't, I'm not going to lose any sleep. The last thing we're going to talk about here is Fear Street 4. So Phil's Fear Street 4 is officially confirmed, and unlike the first three movies we got, which weren't really based on a specific book, Fear Street 4 is seemingly going to be based on R.L. Stein's Prom Queen novel, and the synopsis says it's on a spring night, soft moonlight, five beautiful prom queen candidates dancing couples at the shady side high prom these should be the ingredients for romance but stirring one brutal murder then another and another and the recipe quickly turns to horror lizzie mcveigh realizes that someone is murdering the five prom queen candidates one by one and that she may be the next on the list can she stop the murderer before the dance is over for good now Arl stein confirmed this on netflix a few days after what's on netflix reported it after they got the information from the directors guild of canada which is where fear street 4 will be shooting it's in pre-production but yeah it's based on the prom queen novel if you're a fear street fan and you're familiar with that novel because i know a lot of people were really excited when i put out that tweet letting them know that that's what the fourth fear street movie would be based on it's nice to see that it's based on a specific book this time i haven't read that book i'm familiar with the fear street books but my R.L. Stein material when I was younger were the Goosebumps novels. I probably will check this out because I've been meaning to catch up on some Fear Street books anyway to get familiar with it. But you guys can let me know. Are you excited about what they're doing with Fear Street 4? Why or why not? Are you a fan of the Prom Queen novel? If you grew up reading that, let me know what you think about it and what you think about this being turned into a movie. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.